But I want to focus in on the second part. And you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. I want to just roll out real quick my thoughts on this, on what on what this means and how it affects us today. Because I don't, he's addressing it to the woman, but actually it's it's not just her that feels this negative consequence. There's a reason he's addressing it to her, but it actually affects every human being. And I, I, I like it. He says, here's the deal. All human beings have a sinful nature now because of your choice. So Adam and you, and the sinful nature is by nature selfish. It's um, we think of ourselves and we are willing to take advantage of other people for our, to get what we want for our own gain. Yeah. And he's saying this, eh, you're going to, now that you have the sinful nature, Eve, you're going to actually desire to control your husband, like for selfish gain. But the problem is he's going to end up ruling over you because by just by physical nature, it's the survival of the fittest. Men are generally physically stronger than women. And usually when you have two selfish people fighting for their own thing, the, the one who's the most powerful dominates the other one for their own selfish gain. And I think this is bigger than just men and women. Although we've seen this play out throughout history and even today where yeah. men have oppressed and done horrible things to women throughout history for their own selfish gain. Um, but I think you even see this, uh, basically this principle of now that everybody has a selfish nature, the person in the position of power is going to always be using it to oppress others for their own benefit. Yeah. And uh, of course, in this case, I think he addresses it to Eve because she's going to feel the effects of this initially first. But um, but I think it plays out in every society where you see whoever's in the place of power um, uses it for their own gain. And but here's the thing. So I'll use this illustration. Like you take racism. Uh, to me, this verse addresses racism, the problem with racism in the sense like, you know, we would probably say. Um, uh, I'll just use the this is controversial, but I'll just I'll just say it because because it's true and hopefully you hear my heart in it. So you have like the, the, the issue of race. It's coming to the head in America, even over the last few years, you know, and you could say like, man, it's true. Like a lot of times white people have been in a position of power and they have taken advantage of African-American black people for their own selfish gain. That's the whole thing of slavery. It, it was rich people who had the means using their position of advantage to oppress black people for their own benefit. Right. I, it's because of this verse and God's yeah. just ruling out the consequences. He's like, yeah, now that everybody has a sinful, selfish nature, this is what it's going to be like living in the earth with people like this. It's yeah. uh, the powerful will seek to dominate the other. But I, I think this, you know, black people could probably say, um, Hey, you know what? Like if we could just get into the position of power, we wouldn't, we would be different. Everything would be better, but it, it wouldn't be. Because everybody has the same, same sinful nature, whether you're white or black or brown or anything in between, whether you're a man or a woman, if a woman's like, man, if we could just get in charge, we would fix this thing and we wouldn't be that way. But they would, they would just, because Eve has the desire to control her husband. She's just, it's just not going to work for her because she's not into position advantage. And I, I think, um, I hope I'm explaining this clearly. But I see this being the root of injustice throughout the earth. Uh, yeah. uh, whoever has the position of advantage wants to take advantage of the other. And you could say, well, if, man, if, if the oppressed people could just be in charge, it'd be better. No, would it? They have the same sinful, selfish nature. They would end would up oppressing that. the others. The problem is not men. The problem is not women. The problem is not black people or white people or Asian people or Russian people or fill in the blank. The problem is sin. It's the That's sinful right. nature is the root cause of all these problems. And that is the problem that has to get fixed um, yeah. in order to end injustice in the earth. Amen. Amen. And when you see it like that, then you're not the Bible becomes and, and even our Christian experience becomes so much less subjective, right? Mm. I'm not bringing my, I'm not bringing my preferences to the gospel. I'm not bringing my preference preferences into discipleship, my, my political preferences, my, 
uh, economical preferences, my uh, presuppositions about life and the way it should be. I don't bring any of that because I know that the issue isn't about giving somebody uh, a better life or better circumstances or pr even providing uh, immediate justice for their situation that is unjust, though we, we should reach to do that. But ultimately, the goal is, is to present the gospel. Right. And it is the answer to all the problems. And so there isn't going to be an answer that's going to suffice um, outside of the gospel. You know, we're, there's not going to be a law that's going to fix racism because racism is embedded into the human heart as a form, as a part of sin and the curse. Right. And so the only way to get free of it is to be uh, given the Holy Spirit and he sanctifies us and purifies us Amen. until the day that he returns. Yes. Right. And so there is no hope outside of the Holy Spirit. There's no king coming on the earth that's going to give us uh, a better strategy. They Amen. might give us a, temp a temporary strategy that works for a little bit in one way, but it will always fall short of the glory that is going to come when the king, the rightful king of the earth comes and, in and installs and instills justice on the earth in the way that it needs to be instilled.